Hey there, Steve, K2GOG here with Hudson Valley Digital Network, and let's spend a few minutes learning about the Maidenhead Locator System. So the Earth is divided across a number of grids, and the reason for this is it makes it a lot more efficient to share FN31 or FN31BW as compared to using latitude and longitude, where you'd have to say latitude 40 degrees, 50 minutes, 35 seconds, and longitude, negative 73 degrees, 40 minutes, 25 seconds, or using the decimal of 40 dash one, two, three, four, five, and negative 73 degrees, one, two, three, four, five. So saying FN31 or FN31BR25GG is much more simpler. So let's explain about how the system has been uh, put together. So the, the world is put together in these much larger grids. And uh, you can see as I mouse through uh, the approximate size. And so each of these larger grids is identified by uh, a pair of letters. So here we have the example of the uh, Caribbean. Uh, we can see uh, the letters FL. If we move up to the Eastern uh, seaboard of the United States, we can see FM. And then the next one up there is FN. And so we're covering a very wide area here, but even just for a general approximate uh, understanding of where somebody could be in the world, this is a very good system. So EM, EN, EL. So that gives an idea there. Now, if we, if we zoom in, we go into the next level. And so a grid, uh, which would be two letters and two numbers. So let's say, for example, FM15. This is an approximate 70 by 100 mile square. And so again, we're getting into a much closer uh, level of resolution. And this four digit square is typically what is used with an amateur radio. But in certain aspects of the hobby, such as those that are interested in, say, uh, super high frequency contests, uh, they will go down to a six digit grid. And so if we zoom in here, we'll go down to uh, the south end of uh, New Jersey. And so now we're going to go from instead of having FM27, it's going to introduce another two numbers. And so now we're going to go into FN, FM27BE. And so when we get into this, this is an approximate four by three mile square. So we can keep going in. And each time that we go in one other method of resolution, it adds an additional character set. So here, let's look at FM27BL. You can start to make out some of the different features on land. And so as we continue to zoom in here, this will refresh into the next level. So we'll go from instead of FM27 uh, BL, now you see we have FM27 BL02. And now this gets us down to a 2,500 by 1,200 uh, foot small square. And we can go even further. And so if you were trying to find somebody, say, in this plot of land, uh, you have a really good idea, you know, in 2,500 by 1,200 or so feet. But if we continue to go and following the same logic of two letters, two numbers, two letters, two numbers. So now we're going to go into the next level. And so this is what's called uh, Maidenhead Locator System or MLS 8. So we have eight digits. And then the next one would go to MLS 10. And so let's see, we'll keep going in here, wait for the uh, Google Earth program with this custom overlay to refresh. And so now we've added the next le level of uh, letters. So we can see FM27BL02OK, and each of these squares is roughly down to 70 by 100 feet. And again, that's actually pretty useful. Uh, we can see whoever's uh, house this is, uh, hello. Um, if somebody said, where did you park your boat or car? Uh, they could easily give this coordinate and it's a good approximate location. Or 
where on somebody's property somebody's located and we could see about six or so uh different uh grids here and then if we go in further and we can generally go into about uh 12 so it would be fn fm 27 bl 2 ok if we go to 12 which takes a, another minute or so for to uh, do the calculation here now we're down to 12 digit and this is an approximate whoops these are approximately down to six by nine feet so you can get into some very good low close uh location using uh the maidenhead grid square system and the reason why i wanted to share a little bit about how this works is we're going to zoom up over here up into the hudson valley which is where Hudson Valley Digital Network gets its name for those that uh, were not familiar. And we're going to look for the town and city of Rhinebeck on October 30th, 2021. We uh, will be conducting a radio direction finding fox hunt at a place called Ferncliff Forest. And so let's go ahead and try to find Ferncliff Forest here on the map. So I'm just going to go up here and uh do a quick search i know we're very close to it so let's just go ahead type that in Ferncliff forest their gps address is 68 mount rutson road and we'll just let that zoom in and so let's add some some additional layers here so you can get an idea as to what are we looking at so let me add roads and uh, as we can see here on the uh the map there is a network of trails this is a, a pretty uh, fun place to go for a hike uh there is a number of extremely well marked trails and as we can see here we're in the eight digit grid so fn 31 aw 99 which covers uh, the parking lot the pond the large field a number of different trails but if we were trying to find something in even closer resolution well this is helpful we definitely want to go a little further and so now we if we go from the eight digit down to ten digit and so now we're down to that 70 by 100 foot um resolution and as before we can continue to go in further so now we're going to go from that level down to the next and so what what this is going to be very useful for is while we're doing a radio direction finding fox hunt uh, it'll be easier for people to explain where they are relative to each other um, and plot their own location on a map. And the reason why we're going to do that is to teach a, a basic level of proficiency in orienteering, uh, which involves the, the use of a map and a compass. And so, for example, if somebody was in the parking lot here, and let's say, for example, they wanted to get to the fire tower, it would be very easy to explain how far away that is by calculating or looking at on their map how many grids and they could see how that functions against the uh, the marked trails here so it's very easy to find your way and over here is where uh the uh the fire tower is and so hopefully this gives a little bit of an understanding as to how maidenhead grid squares work and if you wanted to use this for some type of a uh, search activity. Uh, there's many different and fun ways how you can utilize the Maidenhead grid system. So thanks for watching. This is Steve K2GOG with Hudson Valley Digital Network and have a great day.